goodness gracious, it's a Monday and it's time for The Lieberman Show with Shaman Steve. It's time for Let Me Blow Your Mind, the podcast. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the stream. How are you? Wherever you are, whoever you are, however you are. I hope you're having an amazing day, an amazing evening, amazing afternoon, amazing morning if you are out there in that other hemisphere. What a pleasure it is to have you here in front of me. I hope that you are feeling good, having a good time, treating yourself with love, respect, kindness, care. Welcome, What a Fly 80s guy. What a pleasure it is to see you as always. Dearest Hades, scorekeeper among scorekeepers. My goodness, what a pleasure it is. Woo! We got the restream chat officially on the stream here, okay? So if somebody says something on YouTube, ho ho, it's gonna be right there. And wait, 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 wait. They're gonna say something on Periscope? It's gonna be right there. And if they say something on Facebook, <laughs> it's gonna be right there. And, and, may I say, if they say something on Twitch, it'll be there, right there. Drotante47 says, hey, welcome back to the stream. How are you? Drotante, what a pleasure it is to see you. What's going on? We're, we are not live on Vine. Vine is defunct. Vine is dead. Vine is dead. It's in the ground. <laughs> oh, no. You needed a specific Periscope and not just Twitter. How many people actually have a Periscope account right now? That's what we got to figure out. Are we live on Mixer, though? Pro tip, love cuppers. No. No, we're not. There is no such thing anymore. Mixer is dead. It's buried. It's in the ground. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. I'm going to shout and scream until you feel so good you pop. Uh-oh. Something just overwhelmed overwhelmed my my CPU. Why? What's going on here? Uh Ooh, Creative Cloud. Bye. Bye. What's going on with you, Creative Cloud? Why are you doing that to me? Okay. I was like, what? 100% of my CPU? Who does that? Welcome, 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 welcome. Do we have enough microphones? I don't know, love cuppers. You tell me. Uh-oh. There's Shaman Steve. He's Oh, my God. Ready. I'm here. <laughs> Hey! They can't hear you, but now they now they can. Yes! Hear my voice! You will How hear it! You look with the color grading I did. Did you do some color grading? I did some color grading! You heard look him the whole you. time? No. Really? You heard his door opening and closing? You probably <laughs> just heard my door opening and closing. I, it, it, it called me crazy, but it has been known to do that. C Reed, welcome to the stream. Good to see oh, you, Steve Lenhart. Photo is C Reed in the stream, stream, and also we got mm -hmm. and we got Steve Lenhart. Photo, Lenhart. Photo, Steve Lenhart. Photo, Zep XP up in the stream. Oh, How are Zep you? Oh, is oh, we got Z Gang in the house. What up, Z Zep? Gang. Door opening and closing, Contro Vezio. Deeply controversial. Controversial. Deep controversial. Controversial. What a pleasure it is to look upon you this evening, Shaman Steve. Now, oh, Remy, you. <laughs> you're a you wild just one. Just like my mother. She's like, oh, Remy, you're so handsome and talented. I do, I do say that about you so often, Remy, especially when you're not there. I, I, you just ask anybody. They, yeah. they, I'll, I'll, I'll be, I'll be around the water cooler, you know, at the office, at the telling office. people that yeah. Remy. Oh, he's so handsome and talented. Zep XP says that vampire stream really did a number on you guys, huh? Uh, that was a fun one, Zep. That is, that is true. Yeah. I wonder hey, why there's Yuna, only a blank. Yuna Nightcore. Look, look at, look at. Your chats are on the screen now. See, we did it. <laughs> you, got the, you got the YouTube chats on the screen. We got the restream chat on the on the screen. It doesn't look super good yet, but we got it. 
It's there. Well, it's there. Well, it's there. It is there. Yeah! <laughs> it's there. Oh, it's there. Buy it here, read it there. Buy it here, read it there. An epic of wonder and despair. Something something Chaplin. Yeah. God, I haven't actually watched it in years. No, me neither. Good. good I have it on a Blu-ray that I can't watch. You, I've, I've made a decision, you don't have a... Shaman Steve. It's controversial. All right, all right. Which, let me hear it. What's your decision? Depending on who's in the lead at what points in the show, we'll switch from this scene where I'm bigger and you're smaller to this scene where you're bigger and I'm smaller. We could do that. We could do we could that. Also... <laughs> Dr. <laughs> awesome could. Jen, hello. Hmm, I wonder why Dr. there's only Austin... a blank screen and leave her in a coffee cup. I wish Shaman Steve was here today. Dr. Awesome Jen is awesome. Like, awesome. objectively. Uh, is a doctor of awesome. Uh, it's true. She had to go She had to go to school for, uh, well, you normally you go to school for three years to get your doctorate in awesome, but she did it in two. Fun fact. Fun fact. <laughs> Worked right through both summers to knock that out. I don't know why, but the way you were winding up that comment, I thought you were about to say worked her way through boat school. Boat I don't know if there is such a thing as <laughs> boat school. Boat school of medicine. Yes. Boat school. Boat I school. got my doctorate at boat school of medicine. Yes. Uh, like you have a sweatshirt that you wear My when you go jogging that just mater. says boat on it. Good old both you. Yeah. yeah. Lauren McKay, thank you so much for the raid. You Whoa! rule. Oh my lord. Check out Lauren McKay's hashtag heart emote. Ooh, and that's that's a cat. It's a cat! It is. That is. A it's cat. a cat. That is That's so cool. Lorne Thank Ray. you, eighties, for shouting out Lauren. That is just, just lovely. Lauren, how was your stream? What were y'all up to? Thank you so much for being here. Hi, Doki. Hello, Doki. Hi, Steve. Doki. Hello, Shovel Knight. Hello, Hello Shovel Death Knight. Star Daniela. <laughs> Taylor Wilkes Taylor with the Wilkes. six month three sub, Daddy. Taylor. I think I saw on Twitter you got a new job. Is that true? Did that happen? I think I'm thinking the right thing. Welcome, Yay. Taylor. Thank you for the six months. Taylor is an OG Libra friend from back in the day. And D-Banks with the four Yes. 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 Oh, you got a job in November. Okay. So then why? I don't know. I thought I saw a tweet. It looked, it looked, it was in my feed. So I figured it was current. So good, congratulations. Drotante yeah. says, your boy needs to get a job. Anyone hiring? Not I, says I, but were I were, I would consider you. Were you was, indeed. Yeah. yeah. Indeed. 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 This let me blow your mind. It's, it's a show about mind blowing facts and two friends trying to blow each other's mind with those mind blowing facts. That's the thing I like about mind blowing facts is when you hear one you say whoa yeah whoa 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 let's see lauren says uh what? that her stream was good they played franbo which is a super weird game shovel knight says it's super weird but fun taylor will see says, there you go i like that qualifying weird with fun yes Y'all, I can only be here for a bit, but Matt, I put in an offer to buy an apartment just now. I'm blowing my own mind. Can we get some A's Boom. in chat for no, some serious mother-effing adulting? Kevin McNamara on, on YouTube. I fucking see you. <laughs> that, that's funny. That's funny. There's clearly some context I'm missing, but that's funny. Taylor oh, Wilkes no. is on the he board. Just, he just, just blew their own mind. He just put, whoa. So, I just wanted to make him feel special. Wow, that editing Whoa. budget. Oh, you better believe it. Whoa. Dr. Awesome Jen, thank you so much for the 250 bits. Now, okay, she wants, okay. 
some mind blowing facts. Now, now we've got to deliver. We have that's, to. That's Manitol. Manitol. Manitol you is know the Manitol. If you draw Manitol out from his lurk, then you have done a good deed this day. This day. Mm-hmm. I I've always heard that if Manitol emerges from his lurk and sees his message in chat, there will be six more hours of stream. <laughs> Kevin on YouTube says, love you, Lieberman. Your cooking stuff was amazeballs. You're amazeballs for the saying so. Thank you very much. That's that's beautiful. I love everything about that. Manitol said Yay! that zoom in got me. You think that there's not going to be a zoom in, but then there is. And then, then you've already been zoom. got. Uh, Manitol had a dope stream uh, earlier today. Mondays with Mana. Man of Mondays. Love Mondays. Uh, and with we're Manitoles. we are fanas. We are we are fanatoles of mm -hmm. Manitoles. Fanatoles, fanatoles. Indeed. Yeah. Night Road says, well, well, well. All right. Well. What? Oh, what do we we're have waiting. here? If he's gonna break well. up this speech into tiny little chunklets, it's gonna take all day. I don't <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> Taylor Taylor Wilkes says have <laughs> um I don't know if let me blow your mind is the right time to mention this but this weekend I officially got my friend to safety and away from the abusive house that makes me so happy that is that is a fine time That's that is a fine time this is absolutely the place to tell me or tell tell us tell the community sorry I'm reading Night Road's novel here i have never been so excited to be here h to be h here to be h here to be h here that's right this is let me blow your mind it is actually sky that is dope where we say mind-blowing facts we blow each other's minds blow the chat's mind 80s what quiz the score the oh the score the underscore zing got him you are You're very welcome yes. Manitol. blake st clair <laughs> blake st clair says fact matt was once chased by gargamel because he was mistaken for a smurf mind blown that is not true that is a that is a that is a, a an untruth that's not that's not correct. I don't like Gargamel because Gargamel is is clearly Gargamel's design to me is very anti-Semitic. But Night Road, uh, uh, same same for me. Um, <laughs> is that true? Is that true about Gargamel? I don't know uh, if it's canon that it's actually anti-Semitic, but he looks anti-Semitic. Oh oh. And he sounds oh. anti-Semitic. Oh, I'm going to get those Smurfs if it's the last thing I do with my the Hank, book nose. The and Hank is like area portrayal in the live really action CGI film. really did not from. like my people. And then made a cartoon about little blue guys. The Hank is area portrayal in the live action CGI film. I mean, if the fake nose fits. Oh. Well. Well, let's see. Uh, <laughs> D-Bake says, I have 30,000, but I can't stop redeeming the improv ads. They're too good. Let's see. Uh, Taylor Wilkes says, wait, is he an anti-Semitic stereotype or is he anti-Semitic? I'm just talking about the design, the look of him. The very look of Gargamel is shockingly shock. Like, I'm sorry. And maybe it's just me and I've got a sensitivity that I need to work on. But tell me that this man, tell me that this man is not intended <laughs> as a hurtful stereotype. I'm not going to give you a point for this. This is not one of my, this is not one of my facts. This is an opinion. I know. If I had confirmation that this was actually factually, oh, 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 you'd win the game. It like like you would just like if you could like deduce 
that there was malicious intent by the animators of the Smurfs. Uh, I'm just. I saying. just think like he's just a he's just like a, a tragically out of touch dude who gave into his hatred as Yoda is always warning us against doing. Yeah, with and... some like red pillow shoes. <laughs> they look like pillows, but like that is not Danny DeVito, and it that's never not. Will no, be. this guy is two point five times taller than Danny DeVito. A thousand percent. Kevin McNamara on YouTube says spies torchlight on desktop. Classic. It is a classic. Classic. You right. It's a classic. Where's DSD? What's DSD? Oh. DSD is Death Star Daniela. Ah. True. Ah, Danny Thirsty. Taylor Wilkes has never watched a single piece of Smurfs content, so they have no insight. That's okay. Sarah P. Sarah P. Come on in. Thank you for the raid. Woo! Holy shucks. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank welcome, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. What are we all doing? Play some art. Uh, Sarah P. is a very fantastic artist. Uh, thank you so much for sending everybody here. That is that is so nice of you. Thank yes. you. What are you What are you working on? That is. I'm excited to hear about that. Thank you very much. If you like um, art, you will love this image of <laughs> Gamel. Oh, it's the same thing. I was like, whatever this is going to be, I already know I'm not going to like it. Nope. And it's just the same thing. Same, same one. <laughs> I, li I like this. J JGK is like, I will back Lieberman on this. And you can tell. You can tell it's like, he vetted that decision before making it. <laughs> Where's my camera? What just happened? Where did I go? What? I don't know. Where are you? I don't want to, you know, I like. I don't know. I wasn't in the thing. Let's say, that's OBS telling us to stay in this scene and to get away from the Smurfs thing. But I have so much more to say about Gargamel. Doing oh. hardware for frames so they can hang. I love that. Ooh, what a good thing nice. to do on stream. For some makers and crafting. I love that. That is That's dope. great. Um, 80s, no. I've officially, I've not quite given up on this GoPro, but I do need to figure out how to make it usable because so many freaking videos talked about how great it is to have, you can make a GoPro into a webcam. The GoPro overheats by being a webcam if you use it for like over an hour. So then you because can't really use it. So it's designed to be used to record, but not to be live. It doesn't yeah, heat up though, if you're just recording. Yeah, even though you can, which is just like, why include the feature? It's just sort of like, it's like that that argument that uh, Alan Rickman has with um, Daryl Chill Mitchell at the helm of uh, the- Galaxy Quest? Yeah, in Galaxy Quest. When he's like, you know, the it the turbo is just meant for short you, boosts. You can't hold down the turbo; it's for quick boosts. It's yeah, like, you yeah, can yeah. Do I don't remember what Daryl. No, no, it's Tim Allen. It's 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 Jason. It's um, uh, Commander Taggart who's like, I don't know, hold down the turbo. I always say just hold down the turbo. And and man, does Daryl Chill Mitchell get the short end of the stick? through a lot of that until that montage where he starts studying the, the the old footage of himself as a kid actually piloting the ship and then he really learns how to pilot the ship it's really exactly. cool it's a great movie uh taylor woke says go pro more like oh no it's too hot and dr awesome jen yes the audience can get points for mind-blowing facts and in fact has did i just blow your mind let me know because then i would get a point then he would get a point Ashley Sky point. says, I mean, type stereotypical, stereotypical villain into Google and you'll see very similar visuals. Do I think it came from antisemitism? Yes. Do I think it still represents that? I don't know. And I'm so bad at games on YouTube. It says, oh, we talking about Mother Flippin' ba Galaxy Quest. Best movie ever. Best movie ever. Let's activate the Omega-13. What a film. Yes. Ooh, Fact. The company that produces the most tires in the world is Lego, according to Dr. Awesome Jen. 
they do it's a pretty awesome fact they're lego tires or they're tires for lego vehicles that couldn't mm -hmm. support a human i would give dr awesome jen a point i give yeah one point for sure one point i didn't know possible this. to amend I later i've heard this before but it is so worth discussing i want to give I know. Dr. Awesome jen a point Nobody makes more tires because they don't have to make like tires that support like cars that people ride in. Mm -hmm. You know, just like Lego's catchphrase, Lego, nobody makes more tires. Just like Lego's catchphrase, Lego, my ego. <laughs> Please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Annalisa, hello, Hammer. welcome to the stream. Water savings. I love it when Annalisa pops Hammer. by. Annalisa makes a great entrance. We're always so happy to see him, and 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 she just like uh, is cool. And it's like she it's just... fun because like it's Annalisa. Like Annalisa is the norm, you know. Annalisa. Hey! It's true. Lego also produces the most hair pieces in the world, according to Blake St. Clair. And I hadn't heard that before, but that does sound true. Prof Size says, Daddy! To which I say, Not even a... Yes. And oh, yeah, Wilkes, Prof Size. We discussed strawberries aren't berries, but bananas are berries two episodes ago. Not even Hot Wheels makes more tires? That is interesting. Well, because Hot Wheels builds assembled cars. And maybe they don't sell as many things. Okay. Yeah. Also, Hot Wheels tires don't come off the wheels. But Lego tires can come off the wheels. So technically, I don't even know that I would consider Hot Wheels tires tires. They are just rubber wheels. Would you consider skateboard wheels? to be Ooh, what is the difference between wheels and a tires did it's, you know that ice is considered a rock says prof Sai. that is interesting that, that is, is interesting. interesting but also not true the answer says prof Sai. therefore if ice is rock then water is lava uh, oh, and, and Dr. Awesome Jen slipped on a rock last weekend. Well, shucks. Yeah. Wheels got them Damn, smooth. Damn, Daniel. Let's see. Kevin McNamara says, Lego says all the things. Hank Green said so. I believe in Hank Green. I believe in Hank Green, just like I believe in Harvey Dent. Mm-hmm. He's the hero that Gotham City needs. Yeah, yeah, I'm really excited to attend that fundraiser for him that Bruce Wayne is having next week. Nothing can go wrong there. Yeah, man, I am a big that guy's so rich. Welcome, Patient Zero. Hello. Patient Zero. Do, he explained do, do, on a TikTok do, do, why water is lava. I will have to watch this TikTok and get the information for myself. All right, Shaman Steve, are you ready? Lieberman. For some mother. Flipping facts. Wow, I'm so bad at games. Thank you for the follow on you yes. on Twitch, Daddy. I'm so also, bad at games. Let me know where you're from. Let me know your favorite sandwich. Let me know your pet's name. Please. I love that music emote, Patient Zero. It says Deluxe 4 music. That is fun. It's some neon music notes. That is fun. I I like I like rocking this one a lot, but that is a Twitch global emote. Uh, using the sort of Twitch Sings um, insignia style, whatever. Um, but uh, I like the neon one that you're you're rocking. Maybe more. Maybe more. Maybe more. Maybe more. Annalisa Maybe. says, "I want, I want, uh, I want, I believe in Hank Green on a shirt." Well, then you should come by Lambs Lieberman's exclusive merch show, which is tomorrow evening. The whole premise of the show is you tell me what you want on a shirt, I make it, and then you can purchase it. So, so Lieberman. Um, Shaman Steve. I'm a fan of, of Lieberman's exclusive merch show. I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm a Lieber fan. Uh, a real and, lamb's and, and, head. 
and maybe and 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 i like i like the show i like what you do with it i like i like what it does i like how you do it what i must know is will it always be not referred to as lems great Lems, the abbreviation, Lieberman's exclusive merch show. Love that. I can see where this is heading. I, I, you I, know exactly I'm, where this I, is going. I'm really we will always be pronounced in this voice of Lems. You mean Lems. Like that? Sure. Sure. Yes. Sure. That is how it is pronounced. In conversation. Yes. Like I'll say, hey, honey, before Lems, tonight, do you want to have salad or do you want to have chicken? It, no, no, no. You bring me video of that. You, like, video vids or it didn't happen. Do I get of a you point? Saying, <laughs> bring me the video and I'll adjudicate. I'm a fine jurist. Okay. Not even phase. Not even, like... This is fine. Uh, not even, like, great. All right, yeah. I'll bring you some video. Or, like, dude, I'm not going to do that. Like, okay. That's my like, that's my 100% attitude. I am much like the ocean. I am 100% flow. I I hope you get a job representing progressive because you are flow. That's right. Hey, listen man, I don't hold on to stress. That tide comes in, the tide goes back out. You know what I mean? Shaggy I the do. dog on Twitch says did you know figs are pollinized by wasps? And the figs we eat have had a wasp die with them in them? No. Who, eat, who eats figs? Man, I hate wasp. But I love figs. When do you eat figs? I don't remember the last time I ever Ooh. ate a fig. You go to Costco, right? You go to the dried fruit section. You say, hey, Ma, where's my Kirkland signature? She says, it's over there. You get a big bag of Calamurna figs. Kirkland signature, Calamurna figs. Your your you mom works bite. at Costco? What? At that Costco? Your mom works at that Costco? No. I, oh. In, in this scenario, I'm going shopping with my mother at Costco. Oh, oh, sorry. You said, you said, hey, where are my Calamurna figs? And, and she presented them. To me, that suggested the knowledge of a store akin to an employee. No, she's just good. She just knows the store. She's just good at, she just, she's she's just good at Costco. Now. What up? You know, I, I'm with you. My, 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 my family, very good at Costco. Pre COVID, all about that free sample life. It was like an event. Yeah. Costco mm -hmm. on a Saturday. That was a gift to a child, to a tween, to a tween with disposable income, the DVD table laden with two packs of movies that I should not have been allowed to buy. Woo! Two packs. Two packs, Shakur. Oh, yes. Martin Hawkins, for all of your under four needs, if you, I will, I will pardon the pun. Welcome in, Martin Hawkins. A big shout out. For fantastic streamer Martin Hawkins, thank you for being here and thank you so much for the four months. Welcome, Martin. Thank you for giving us sub to the man, the myth, the legend, Shaman underscore Steve. And shout out to everybody on all the platforms. We are currently on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and Periscope. Nice. Who's who's two tabbing? Who's four tabbing? Who? Where are my quad who's, tabbers at? Anybody five tabbing? Do we have any Quint Anybody Tabbers? Tabbing? Any Quint Tabbers? No. We, don't have it. we might have one. We might have one Quint Tabber. Anybody, anybody, Quint, anybody Quint Tabbing, throw down in every chat. Woo. Prove Woo. it. Throw down in every chat. Throw down in every chat you're in like. L. Wander, thank you for the five months. God bless. Appreciate that so much. 80s guy is a quint tabber and annalisa says i'm on twitter periscope youtube and twitch beautiful nice. beautiful uh patient zero beautiful. says oof what's a tab Woo -hoo -hoo. lab a tab 
Are you on to, Okay. To a broke to, GameStop employee who had a membership but no money for lunch, Costco free samples was a godsend. Absolutely. Night Road, this might have come up before in the previous week's events about GameStop, but I was not I don't I don't know if I was aware that, that you uh you you were rocking that GameStop life. Has to have been an interesting couple of weeks for you then. I am curious. Um if you care to elaborate. Most curious. Most. Curious. Most. Yes. All right. Shaman underscore Steven. Lieberman who playeth. Shall we begin? We're going to need to flip a coin, aren't we? Oh, thank you very much. Taylor Wilkes, I have to run. Hope everyone has a mind-blowing week. Here's a mind-blowing fact. You're a wonderful human, and you should check if you're hydrated right now. That is wonderful, Taylor Wilkes. Thank you so much. That is wonderful. Thank you for the reminder. Is it Steven or Steven? Because it better be Steven, says Be Becky Francis. Care to weigh in, Steven? Oh, oh, Becca Francis, just call me underscore. All right, we got to flip a coin here. Let's flip a coin. Let me bring us back over to this. Oh, what? Uh, oh, what is all? <laughs> oh, what is all this? Uh, it's oh. just gonna be like, like oh, it's oh. some. It's, at what, some what point, all, we're going to be. What is all this? Oh, we're going to be what? having a meeting. It's not even going to be on the stream. You're just going to be like, hold on. Uh, I think I have that document that you asked for. And then you're like clicking on the Here, keyboard. Here, call it like, in the air. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Tails. Tails. And it is. Tails. You want to go first? Yay. I will go first. All right. Mr. Shaman, if you're nasty, says D Biggs. Ooh. Goodness gracious. Ooh. Um well well. Well, well, well. Um Well, 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 well. Uh no, it's gonna be like some like meeting or something, and I'm gonna be like, Do you have the thing? And you're gonna be like, Yep, I just sent you this document that we need, and you like type the type. So then I'm gonna open it and it's just gonna be pictures a Google image search of Gargamel. <laughs> uh Oh, what lovely fun we have here. Lieberman, yes. I have a fact for you. Was you aware? Was you aware? Was you aware of the phenomenal um, author, renowned children's author, Roald Dahl? Roald Dahl? Yes. Roald Dahl. Uh, were you aware that uh, Roald Dahl, uh, in addition to such acclaimed children's works as the BFG, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, The Witches, George's Marvelous Medicine, uh, James and the Giant Peach, Matilda, in addition to these classic titles, that uh, Roald Dahl also uh, has uh, co-writing credits on the fifth James Bond film, uh, You Only Live Twice. I was not aware of that. That's interesting. I yes. believe in, in Going Solo, he talks about his time in the military, but I don't know that he was ever in the service as a spy. But if he was a spy... It would make sense that he would be a part of that. Big Wig is over on YouTube. I'm telling. Hello. <laughs> um, Big Wig is over on YouTube. I'm telling. <laughs> I think that's really freaking cool. I was a massive Roald Dahl head when I was when I was a uh, when I was a boy. So that's just cool as hell. Uh, you absolutely get a point for that. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, Shaman Steve. Lieberman plays. You you know that feeling? You know that feeling you get when you're like, ooh, boy, I ate too much. Ugh, but it was yes. good. Yes. Yep. 
There is a word for this in the Georgian language, in the nation of Georgia, that is has no direct translation. But it, it, the closest you can get to it is the feeling you get when you are overly full from when you are overly full, but you just can't stop eating and you're having a good time and you just want a little bit more, but it's like, oh, I know I can't, but it's so good. There is a word for this experience. And it is called, and the word is Shemomachama. In what language is this word? The Georgian language. The language of the Georgians. Uh <sighs> The, of the of the, of the Baltic, of, Chama, I can't stop eating this Georgian of the, food of the Baltic states, the country of Georgia. Yes, S H E M O M E C H A M A, Shimoma Chama. Exactly, Night Road. That is what Michael Shemoma Jackson Chama. was trying to tell us all these years. He's full, but he just can't stop eating Shimoma Chama. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Like when it's Thanksgiving, you already had a full plate, but like, ooh, mom just brought out another tray of stuffing, and this is the crispy one that wasn't in the bird? Ma, why didn't this come out the first time? Oh, Shamoma Jama, I gotta get me some of this. Oh, Shamoma Jama. Shemomachama. I'm gonna be here oh, for a while. God, I got a whole pizza here. I already ate three pieces. I don't need to have more pizza. Ooh, but oh, oh Shemomachama, oh. the sausage on this pizza. <laughs> Welcome, Mama Ross. How are you? Goodness gracious, the toppings and the crust. Shemomachama. <laughs> How good is pizza, though? Am I right? Oh, my God. <laughs> right? One of the things that would be served at a Georgian uh, at a, at a Georgian uh, feast called a supra um, is a, a kachapuri bread, which is often covered, smothered in cheese, and is similar to a pizza. Well, like a white pie. You know, like a nice white pie. You know what I mean? Shamoma jama. Shamoma jama. <laughs> I was prepared to give this piece of information that there is, in fact, a word existing in a different language to describe a feeling that there is no direct word for in English. To me, that was like half a point material. And then you treated us to a delightful scene of a character who had, in fact, had far too much pizza. And was Like the bard says, Shaman Steve, my gift is my song. And this one's for you. And you can tell everybody, Shamoma Chama. That is absolutely a point to you. Woo! My that's a point. That's a point. He fought that's his way back from the brink. He did. It was well, well met. Well met, good sir. Uh, well met. And therefore, it is my turn? Yeah. Lieberman plays. Shaman who's Steve. Correct me if I'm wrong. <clears throat> but I, I believe I'm quoting you. I'm paraphrasing you. When I say that uh, I you... I want it that way. But we are two worlds apart. And <laughs> I think I just went a little Obama with that one. But we, we are two worlds are apart. Two worlds apart. I can't. 
reach to your heart when you say that hardworking Americans want it that way. Uh, um, I, I won't do that for the rest of the stream. I want to, but I won't. Okay. I just want it on record that I wanted to. I know. Um, it's okay, buddy. <laughs> Uh, I believe I'm paraphrasing you when you said that you were not aware that uh, Roald Dahl, Roald Dahl, the aforementioned Roald Dahl, was uh, uh, co-credited with writing uh, a James Bond screenplay. And you were aware that he was in the service. He talked about that in Going Solo, but you do not believe like he was like a, involved in like spycraft of any kind. I couldn't remember. Like, it, it sounds familiar, but I couldn't confirm or deny. Okay, lovely. Uh, just like a spy, then I'm going to send you an article that I am going to read a selection from as we speak. A relatively recent biography, Storyteller, The Life of Roald Dahl by Donald Sturrock, 2010, helped provide Bond historians with some fresh and invaluable background information on Dahl's rather exotic early career. In fact, the biography showed how Dahl led an extraordinary life in the USA during the Second World War, working for a secret British intelligence network called British Security Coordination hereafter, known as BSC, which was a part of MI6, the British Secret Service. The highly secret BSC organization was established to promote British interests in America, especially to help persuade American public opinion and the U.S. media in general to support the war and stop the insidious spread of pro-Nazi and neutrality propaganda within the country. The USA did not join the war until December 1941, as everybody knows. And organizations such as America First, both before and after war was declared, continued to spread anti-war views, which alarmed the British. The biography revealed that as part of his job, Roald Dahl, who was seen by his contemporaries as a dashing young Royal Air Force officer and a, quote, skilled flirt, slept with numerous high society and influential American women in order to persuade them to express public sympathy for the British wartime cause. Hmm. So you're saying that Roald Dahl is is essentially is the is the is the what of James Bond is is the inspiration for James Bond? No, just that he was a spy. Oh, okay, that he was a spy. All right. Well, yeah. I mean, I was like, ah, I, I, vague remembrance. I don't know. I'm glad that I have this. Uh, article to read i would like to know more about it um there should be i will provide a half point on the grounds that i was like oh it, it, uh, and you provided some clarity but it didn't exactly blow my mind by any means hmm is that acceptable? Not even that he had some like he, some run-ins with the ladies and was assigned to you do a bit of um Mama Ross, thank something. you for the 25 bits. That's very Mama cool. Ross is awesome. Um and not 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 even knowing that uh, our famed children's author was known for uh, a couple of spy assignments that took place in the boudoir. So you say, how you I mean, say, you... if you le lean into this, do the thing that I do and you may pull out another half point. I mean, I mean, it is, it is, it is famed children's author, Roald Dahl, uh, 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 well known for uh, a, a certain different, entirely different genre of work, but in his uh, dashing days as a youth, as a, as a rake known for a bit of, um, Dare I say, uh, promiscuous espionage? Yes. Top Cat, thank you for the 10 month resub. Can we get Top some Cat A's in awesome. chat for Top Cat? Wow. That is awesome. Thank Hello. You, Top Good on, stuff, Sean. Top Cat. Hello, Red Fox. Give me, give me, a, give me a little more of that. Roald Dahl, hmm? 
James and the Giant Peach, yes. The, the B, F, G, yes. Yes, during during his youthful days in the early, early World War II was stationed in America. That must be fun and exciting, mustn't it? The young lad, the pride of the Royal Air Force, yes. On assignment in America, foreign land is indeed reported to have spent time on assignment, assignment from a division of MI6, the British Secret Service. Two, as part of his job, be such a dashing young officer, being assigned to sleep with numerous high society and influential American women, high society and influential women the honeypot, you might say, the, the Cadillac of espionage. Putting those skills of flirtation to the test for the okay, queen, for the crown. Please stop talking about flirtation. Um, <laughs> I will grant you the full point for putting up with me, and uh, I appreciate you for that. I will receive the full point so that I may end that train of thought. <laughs> Perfect. Welcome Mightily64 and Bridges and Red Fox. Good to see you. Bridges says, I'm back. I'm sure this is the first time you hear this. I was watching you on my Echo show. Um, I was wondering if you ever read any of Roald Dahl's creepy short stories. I have not, but I'm aware of them. I also know that he wrote books for adults, but I never read any of them. Oh, me neither. You all good, Red Fox. Glad to have you here. Uh, yes. Mr. Mamba Games. Yo. Mamba Games. Welcome. All right, Shaman Steve. I'll keep this one short and sweet. You can tell Do me it. whether or not it's worth any of that sweet, sweet pointage. Sweet pointage. Okay. Now, we all know there's one thing we know about babies, right? Babies. Right? Right. Babies. They cry. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They cry. What am I doing? I'm sorry, uh, one more Bridges time for our folks at home. Gives a shout out to I Redeem This instead of a Dunk the Boy in Coffee. Shout out for I Redeem This. Love that. Lol Nixel. Is a Dunk the Boy in Coffee just not available? Oops. Oh, okay, I think you want. <gasps> okay. Hello. Welcome. Um, Welcome. The custom merch thing is Tuesday night. I want to try to show up and support with my view. I really appreciate that, Red Fox. Red Fox um, is dope. Ira deem this. A noble fellow, indeed. Agreed, Dana. Agreed. Um, all right. So. Don't ever say that name in my presence again. You know what happened between Ira deem this and I. Yeah, but I, I honestly thought you'd be over it by now. Well, not big deal. True, it has been 17 years. Maybe it's time you and Ira get together and put this child to bed. Bringing us back what? to babies. Babies! Go right ahead. Go right ahead. What? What? What just happened? Where did Ob uh, there? There is there is stream. Where is stream? There is stream. Babies. Babies? <laughs> Babies? <laughs> the slow zoom. <laughs> it's, it's not a speed zoom. It's a slow zoom. <laughs> if I could make it slower, I swear. Babies? If I could make it slower. Babies. Yeah. Crying. <laughs> this is slow zoom out. Wah. Crying. These Babies? babies? These babies. Okay. Hey, babies. Hey, babies. babies. What's up, babies? What are you doing, babies? Come hey, on, babies. Baby. So, babies cry. But did you know that babies cannot shed tears? Prove it. I will exhibit... <laughs> Exit. 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 
Exhibit A. <laughs> Exhibit A. <laughs> Sorry. Instead Wrong. of responding to that, I'm going to say, what up, Paul the Dude? Good to see you. Paul the Dude, good to see you. That's right, Mama Ross. That's right. <laughs> Uh, Nadia, thank you for the follow. You rule. It's good to see you. Welcome. Is it normal for a baby, for my baby, my baby? My baby. My baby, 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 baby Cry without baby, tears? Baby, 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 baby. Yes, it is. Most babies start crying tears within two weeks of their birth. But some can take longer. Usually by the two-month mark, they can cry tears. But when babies are born, they cannot cry tears. It takes two weeks and up to two months on average? For babies to develop their tear ducts. Cool, 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 cool. So next cool. time you're like, ooh, cool, babies cool, cool. with their crying tears, know that they can't and that you're in the wrong for saying that. Okay, but toddlers can cry. You're just saying newborns can't. That's what I'm saying. Babies. Toddlers are not babies. They're toddlers. But, like, after the Once age of two weeks... Once you gain the ability to toddle, you ain't a baby. You're saying that, on average, after the age of two to eight weeks of life, then you can cry. That's what I'm saying. But for the first two to eight, you're just making noise, baby. All right. All right. You get a point. You get a point. I didn't know that. You get Thank a point. Thank you. Showing the love, Red Fox. Back at you. Love. Um, Patient Zero says oh. that I'm a baby because no tears coming from me. So, uh, hmm, wait. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Just yeah. when my sim gets to rest, the screaming starts all over again since Bridges. That is the experience of watching this show. Yes. Yes. Indeed. Shaman Steve, it's your turn. Are you familiar with the author? Speaking of authors, Mary Shelley. Mary Shelley? Yes, Frankenstein. Frankenstein, yes. Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? No. That her seminal work, Frankenstein, most famous work, Frankenstein, exists in the first place because of a contest, a dare, if you will, she entered into with other famous celebrated authors, her husband, Percy Bysshe Shelley, and Lord Byron. A contest? The conditions that summer were damp and cool due to a volcano eruption the year before, creating an uncanny atmosphere. The Shelleys had traveled to Lake Geneva, with Mary's stepsister, Claire Claremont, what a name, in the summer of 1816, to visit with Lord Byron, Claremont's lover at the time. John Polidori, a physician and writer, was also present. One night, Byron suggested they engage in a writing contest to see who could come up with the best ghost story. Shelley's entry would become Frankenstein. Byron's Byron suggestion intended to finish his, but he marched into the middle of the room, slammed his story down on the table, and said, I'm out! I'm sorry, the moment you said that it was a contest, all I could think about was the contest episode of Seinfeld. And I was going to die, physically die, if I didn't say that. I, I would have been extinguished. 
So I would like you to finish. But for putting up with that, know that you already get the point. And I would like to hear the rest. Um, you you really got me on the last sentence I was gonna read. Oh, okay. And, and now, now I'm a little busy. Uh, uh, uh I I can get. Oh, uh, I just I need the I need the root in. That's what I need. I need. What the was passage. another person who was at this party? Or in this contest? Uh, Mary Mary Shelley, her husband Percy Shelley, and Percy Lord Shelley Byron. then marches into the room. I'm out. What's wrong, Percy? You are so gifted at fiction. I was gifted. But then I bore a bore witness. I bore witness to a a a a, a pantaloons catalog. And I am no longer <laughs> master of my own literary domain. I got so distracted that I was not able to finish my ghostly story. I bore witness to awesome tracks. Hey! You ready? No. Under underscore score is a great dude. Lil Pop Seven, Lady Mind Key, Eons of Ian, <laughs> LOL Nixel. Awesome tracks, CB4K. What amazing people. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Thank you so that much. Way. Welcome, there's welcome. Room, we're there's doing. Room. There's some chairs in the back, some cushions get... if you're if we're out we, of chairs. We got snacks. We got snacks. We got drinks. Uh, coming in, somebody, we're doing the let me blow your mind. Deviled eggs. I, I put a lot of time into them. They're just kind of sitting there. I'm going to eat those. I'm going to eat them. No matter what happens, I'm going to have those. Yeah, but uh, they're, like, they're like sitting out. Like people should get, get at them now while they're fresh. Awesome tracks. You rule. Coming in. Code names earlier. A bit of Jackbox. Just, just crushing it. Uh, I, again, I didn't even, oh, that's so kind of you. Thank you very much for sending everybody here. Ursulati99. Says command snacks. They want those snacks. Okay, respect, respect, respect. Um, Ooh. Bridges says I have a fact about books. The new Netflix film Enola Ooh. Holmes is based off Nancy Springer's book by the same name, which ripped off the OG Sherlock Holmes series, uh, and it is being sued by Sir Arthur Doyle's estate. So Netflix and Nancy are going bankrupt. Hmm. Oh no! Well, Unclear. I don't know. If... Wow. Wow, but that also, is interesting. No, isn't Sherlock I'm in sorry. the public? I don't think that they have the grounds for. They, 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 there's no way that they could possibly have the grounds for a lawsuit. Sherlock Sherlock's Holmes in the public has domain. Be pre, it's got to be pre, um, pre copyright and and pre. Um, uh, and even so, it would be full public domain IP. by now. It's over a hundred years old. Yeah, it's it's public domain. There's no way they could possibly like the full succeed. canon. The full canon in Conan Doyle's lifetime. He died. You know what? I've got the. I've got. The, I've got this. I've got. Thank the, I've you, got the, awesome got tracks this. and CB4K for grabbing some of the snacks. Thank you, thank you guys. Hold on, I'm gonna find this out. I'm gonna find this out. Okay. All right, Shaman Steve's gonna go find that out. We're gonna make sure that all these snacks get eaten, everybody. Okay. Um, just like take a look around. We put out these snacks every episode and. I always wind up having to take them home, and then I'm like, oh, I don't want to eat all these snacks, but I don't want them to go to waste. So just like everybody, if you could just take a look They're at good the good snacks. Just and like, the cookies, I know you think, like, how long have those cookies been there? But they're good. They're good cookies. Hey, Unite Core. Good to see you again. <laughs> Unite Core, you cut to the core of me. Okay. Okay. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle was born in Edinburgh, Edinburgh, Scotland, in 1859, and he died in 1930. That means his entire canon was written prior to 1930, which means, and anything like written as, okay, and literally 1930 was literally 89 years, no, 91 years ago. So that would all totally fall into the public domain, even if it was copyrighted. I think. I'm pretty sure. You can quote me on that. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, there's Bridges' source. Okay, awesome. And, uh, well, Bridges, I just pulled up this one, and the case was, in fact, dismissed. But they did sue. They I did see. Sue. Okay. 
Um, gotcha. <clears throat> Um, Red Fox, um, you are more than welcome to, uh, uh, if you, yeah, you're, you're over there seeing, seeing, seeing our boy Lieberman. You're on, you're on both. Love that. Yeah. There's discords. Absolutely. So I the majority had a food day. of Arthur Conan Doyle's, um, uh, Sherlock Holmes work is, uh, in the public domain. 10 stories remain under copyright, which is why they, they tried to sue, but but had no grounds held no water cb4k no uh we're all mad here as it, i, I it's think the, the best same way goes. for us to be able to show you something and and be on the screen at the same time i think shaman steve i would like to present a piece of evidence for a point i'm trying to remember how the seinfeld baseline goes I mean, that's pretty authentic. We okay, could cool. always I'll just go with watch that. the video of the guy who made the soundtrack. Because we it's could, one of my we could. Two videos of all time. We could always do that. But I don't know that it would get me a point. Oh, how many total points for Mary no. Shelley? One. One point. Cool. Thank you very much. Yeah. As you were. Okay. Um, I would like to bring your attention to Thrissur, India. Where? Spell it. T H R I S S U R. Thrissur, India. Good. Wherein? Whence? On June 4th of 2016, Satar Adhur achieved the Guinness World Record. For the largest collection of miniature books. Feast your eyes. What? Feast your eyes on my dude, Satar, and his collection of miniature books. 3,137 books in all. A miniature uh, book is a very uh, small book. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. You don't is say. It? Yeah. Um, no larger than 7.57 centimeters, three inches, in height, width, or thickness. And these are all different books. Uh, Atrax, it's a hack. It's a hack. Um, what are in the books? Stories, information, <laughs> but like, information, man. Information no, but like in the books. Is it any book? Is it like classic books? And they're like any it's the whole book, book that fits the description of not being longer, wider, or thicker. Then three inches. Swiss Ram Family um, Robinson? Oh, it's there. But why? Well, yes, why? Maybe that is the whole question. Why does he uh, collect how do they get miniature books? Did he make Why does did he the make sun them? hang in the sky? Why do birds sing? Why is my cup so large? These are not questions. They why are do to meditate upon appear every time you are near just, just like, like me they long, long to, to be. be close to michael maggle hayes on youtube who says what font size are in the book nine point yes. times New good Roman? question great question unclear unclear it is in india these are probably books in a different language other than english i wonder who wrote them like like are they like just mini copies of books we would recognize and other books somebody else made them where does he get them from he just collected more than anybody else yeah. who makes them is it more than one person these are all questions that I have. I would like this context. 
This would do very well towards adjudicating your final score for this round. Can I offer right. instead some bonus information? Can I offer you a nice egg in this trying time? Yes, you may. Never mind. <laughs> no, I oh. wanted to provide. I saw in the sidebar uh, related records, and one of them was largest gathering of people wearing Tam O'Shanter hats. And then I clicked on it, ready to be like, oh, yeah, this is going to be a great picture. And then there, it, no one has achieved this record, but it is a record filed with the Guinness Book. So technically, technically, we could get this record. So wait, there is no photo because the they say the record exists, but they have no photo. Yes, check this out. Look, this record is for the greatest number of people wearing Tam O'Shanter hats at a single venue. This record You've is been to, to be been to, Have you been to Tam O'Shanter? No, but I have been to that bar in Boston, the Tam, which is named after a Tam O'Shanter. Also, there's one in Atwater Village, Los Angeles, that is, is literally really? called Tam O'Shanter. Literally called Tam O'Shanter. Yeah, I've been there. Oh, that's lovely. Um, yes, Did Ian. Did someone say the Tam? The it, Tam. It, Ian popped out for a Boston reference. Woo! I love that. Um, and this record is and Ian loves attempted by a water. sole organization or a team of unlimited size. This record is measured by the total number of people wearing Tam O'Shanter hats. And for the purposes of this record, a Tam O'Shanter hat is the term for a traditional Scottish flat hat slash bonnet that has a woolen ball or pom-pom on the crown. The hats are not uh, are traditionally tartan. So Oh, I literally thought it was merch for like a line of bars. No, no but it's, it's the it's the traditional Scottish yes. Okay. No, no, no. But we I could get together. We could hold when 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 COVID is over and we hold our convention. Everybody bring a Tam O'Shanter hat, and we could achieve this record. I would also like to bring your attention to... We could. Largest to gathering top of Dr. people Dr. Teresa dressed Tam? as dragons. Largest gathering of people what? Dressed as dragons. That's I'm going to try this one more energy. time. Dragons. Cool, cool, cool. This record, cool, cool, cool. also an open record, gang. This record is for the largest number of people dressed as dragons in a single venue. This record is to be attempted by a group of unlimited size. I'm just saying. Is to be attempted. Yes, but it has not been yet. Which means you and I, Shaman Steve, if we both put on dragon outfits and took a photo, technically we would be the world record holders for most people wearing dragon outfits in the same place at the same time. I'm down. I'm down too. I'm down. I'm down. We could down. take down a record fun. with very little effort. That would be fun. Yes, be it fun. would. And you know, dragon outfits. Yes. And yes, 80s guy, that is the proper proper way to spell dragon. <laughs> D-R- Dr. Agins. Ins. <gasps> That's I funny. Would, oh my God, largest gathering of minions. Tell me that this has a photo. No. Nope. <laughs> that exists. That has to have a photo. Nope. Not, it does not <laughs> exist. Unlimited. Let's see. Yeah, this record is to be attempted by a group of unlimited size. For the purpose of this record, a minion is defined as the henchman characters in the Despicable Me film series and spin-off media. They are small, yellow, cylindrical creatures who have one or two eyes. I'm just saying. I'm in. I no really. Like great plan. No notes. Yeah. This will be good. This will be our proverbial. Is that coffee? It's Nespresso. I prefer your coffee. Nespresso. Is I'm that... in. I want in. And <laughs> everyone has to sing Freak Me in Minionese. We would also be able to take down the record for most people singing Freak Me at the same time in Minionese. As uh, 
that is true. That is, we would, we would, we would, we would, we would, we would, we would be, we would be able. Would we? We, we would. <laughs> I'll give you a point for the mini books. Thank you. That's all yeah. I wanted. Yeah. You, 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 you done. I had absolutely no interest in giving any points for the, the record stuff, but you just kept going and then you, you got me. Okay. Here's a fun thing that I'm going to send to you. Here's a fun thing that I'm going to send to you. Here's a fun thing that I'm going to send to you. Here's a fun thing that I'm going to send to you. Cool. Between October 2020 and January 2021, just scream invited anyone to call scream and hang up over 130,000 people screamed with joy rage frustration loneliness and everything else there is to scream about and Just Scream recorded these screams. They are now done recording screams and are now recording words of hope. Ooh, I like that. We should leave words of hope. We absolutely should. Okay, I just sent I'm going to pull you. this up. Let me add you to this scene. Hold. Ooh, I'm an ethereal voice in this scene. No, you're uh, Sean How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck you? Thanks, Chuck. Thanks, Chuck. Tonight at 11. <laughs> how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck you? Tonight at 11. The answer uh, may surprise you. The answer may surprise you. So let's call the one answer, at a time. I'm going to give you two you points think. for this just because I love this. And I'll give you another point for your message when you deliver it. Excellent. So I'm going to call first. 561-567-8444. User busy. Someone's in the someone's calling right now. Oh, okay. Try again in a minute. It's in West Palm Beach, Florida. They recorded 130,000 screams. They did. Hmm. Hmm. This reminds me of I don't know if it was a react stream or if it was an early episode of this show. That thing in like in like Iceland where we said something and it came out of a tiny speaker. That rings some kind of bell, but I don't remember. 10 p.m. in Florida right now, Alan Powell? Yeah. 1014. We may not get it, but I'll give you two points. I like this a lot. This makes me happy. Very good. It makes me happy as well. I'm glad it exists. I'm glad you dig it. Thank you very much for the points. I will share them with What a Fly 80s guy who deserves credit for this A portion of find. the two points comes from the URL of this website, which I'm not sure if you're aware is just scream dot baby baby amazing amazing just amazing scream, baby Mwah, chef's kiss just scream just witchy scream. mini fan thank you so much for the follow just scream just scream just scream, just scream. all right oh scream sharks Yes. Man. Sure have seen some crazy things happen with sharks. Not busy anymore? Thank you for being They're on busy! The <laughs> <laughs> Not busy anymore? They're busy! They're busy. Not busy? They're busy. Twitch mini fan says, funny haha streams? Me like. 
I like the way you think and speak, Twitchy Mini Fan. Welcome to the stream. What is up, Twitchy Mini Fan? How are you today? I would Hello. like to discuss sharks and their teeth. Did you know that sharks' teeth are no stronger than human teeth? The difference and the reason why they are so scary is in not just their shape, but the strength of a shark's jaws. It's in the name, jaws. But the teeth themselves are no more hard than our teeth according to a 2012 study in the Str Journal of Structural Biology. The enamel on a human wisdom tooth is just as hard as the enamel coating on shark teeth. So I ask you, live every teeth like it's shark teeth. Shark teeth have the same enamel makeup and density. You might say sharpness, I guess, as human teeth. Human teeth. Human teeth. Goodbye, human Becky teeth. Francis. Get some rest. Fairly just, well. They are... They, they're shaped differently. They're designed to rip and tear. But in terms of actual firmness of the teeth, strength of the teeth, they are no stronger than a human's teeth. So let's not be so scared of sharks, okay? And let's be scared of each other. I, I would agree, Twitch Mini fan. Just you, you just go for it. So let's just be scared of each other. I can dig that. Another reason to keep your mask on and be afraid if someone won't put it on. Because if they don't have it on, they might bite you. And those teeth, rock solid. And? Alan Powell says... So what you're saying is, with the correct genetic manipulation, I could regrow teeth like a shark. That is not what I'm saying. But I am saying that if your tooth and a shark tooth got into a fight, it would end in a draw. And? And? The smell of chocolate makes people want to buy romance novels. That is true. That is definitely true in my experience. <laughs> Did you know that in a 2013 study uh, published in the Journal of Environmental Psychology sa stated that the smell of chocolate inside of a bookstore makes people want to buy romance novels? Prove it. I will read now from the Journal of Environmental Psychology. <clears throat> the, um... By Leave Deuce, Caroline Poos, Wim Janssens, and Charlotte DeBacher. Oh, I love them. Oh, my God. What, what, a, what a partnership. Mm -hmm. they reunited at last. We've been waiting. Yes. Alexis Machine says the smell of chocolate just makes me want to buy chocolate. <laughs> what if you already have chocolate alexis machine does it make you want to buy more chocolate or just eat the chocolate that you already have or both hmm. good question mm -hmm. good point twitch twitchy mini fan ambient chocolate scent can have different effects on different shopping behaviors chocolate scent leads to more general approach and to less goal-directed behavior the scent effect depends on the product's thematic congruency with the scent. In case of thematic scent incongruity, negative effects on shopping behavior occur. Are you not an infotained? Are you not infotained? 
uh that's a freebie put that on a on a uh lieberman exclusive merch shirt lambs tomorrow night 6 p.m you can say it like that i'm not gonna say it like that lambs. but yes hi zaf how are you oh zaf here welcome hello good evening to you we're learning about chocolate and tea i'm gonna go ahead and what about what a... oh what about willy wonka um can I have because I I rather enjoyed it so much. You went to the dentist today. Isn't that isn't that a coincidence? How'd it go? Related to the teeth. That, and it, the how did chocolate. it go? And can I have because I, I am oh so enthralled by it. Just a sentence or two more from the Journal of Environmental Science. Of course. The aims of this research were to, one, explore the different effects of an ambient scent of chocolate on general approach versus goal-directed behavior, and two, investigate whether an ambient chocolate scent diffused in a retail environment has a positive effect on consumers' behavior toward the thematically congruent products. And they found that it did have a direct ambient effect? On consumers' behavior, yes, it did have a an eff- it ha- can have different effects on different shopping behaviors. It leads to more general approach and less goal-oriented behaviors. And the scent effect depends on the product's thematic congruency with the scent. I will award you one point for the effects of scent ambient scents on. Com- consumer behavior and i will award you no points for the shark teeth i'm cool with that i fought yeah, my me way too. to a point you did you really did 80s thank you for giving a sub to zaffir cakes that is wow! so kind of you thank you thank you very much 80s. now he's got the and, emotes. And, he's got the emotes come on in, in zaffir it is lovely to have you here Absolutely lovely. Zaffir Cakes, Thank I need so to much. know something. Your most recent YouTube video. Did you hire an editor or did you make that thumbnail yourself? Because I was talking about you really... this right before the stream. I was like, that's a good thumbnail. You really do need to know. You like he I has can tell an like, editor. it's in your in your bones. You needed to know the answer to that. Dude, you're gonna explode now. Good for you. That is exciting. That is very exciting. We can't say this sincerely enough. If you have not checked out Zaffir's content, you are effing missing you out. You are missing out. Just a just a gift to y'all. Just please go enjoy it. Please. Um. Is it my turn then to top it around It is five? your turn. I got my All point. Right. I'm done fighting. Good job. Good job. Thank well done. I'm now going to read from an article that I have prepared. Let me try this. By Emmett Asher Perrin. The Lion King was you are a fan of Disney, correct? Am yeah. I am I wrong? Am I Yes, me. Okay, so I now have you on record saying that you're a fan of Disney. Oh, God. Now it's on the record. Yeah. There you go. So, so it will interest you to learn the following information. The Lion King was the most unlikely success story you will ever hear. You can often separate your generations out by Disney movies, though it seems a strange thing to do. And one of the movies that was absolutely key for mine happened to be The Lion King. But here's the kicker. The Lion King wasn't intended as a golden egg laying goose. In fact, it was the unloved cousin that Disney wanted swept under the rug from the outset. You... Pug Love Spa, thank you for the follow, Daddy. Let me know where you're from. Let me know your favorite sandwich. Let me know your pet's name so we can sing you a welcome song. We're addressing a follow notification, and I almost caught myself saying, go ahead, you can take that. 
Yay! And revelation on YouTube, their mind is blown. Hooray! I do like that. That is nice. It was wanted swept from the rug under the, from the outset. It was expected to fail. This article's got a few behind the scenes gems. Uh, to begin with, the movie was not something Disney was banking on. The hierarchy in the animation division at that point in time was all the best movies are about people. That's what they thought. If you got stuck working on the movie about talking animals, good luck, but critical acclaim was not to be yours. So those who were largely considered Disney's A team in animation were all hard at work during this period on Pocahontas. The Lion King was meant to be a gap year piece. This is important. Spin, Spin Pop, Pop, thank you so much for the five gift subs to Pug Love Spot, to BB Jess, Nicole of C's, uh, K Doughboy, and Tove92. Much love. Thank you, Spin Pop. That is Alexis beautiful. Machine, that was my next question. Ooh, okay. Let's see if we get to Kimba the White Lion. Um, so it was the gap year project, right? Mm -hmm. um, thank you. Thank you, mini fan. We will see again. The connections between the film's plot and Shakespeare's Hamlet were not initially intentional. Uh, early draft, Scar was not Mufasa's brother. He was just a lion without his own pride who wanted what Mufasa had. And then they suggested that it could be related. Then they realized that that made the story parallel to Hamlet. Then they started running with that. Um... They almost considered going so far as to have Scar say goodnight, sweet prince, before the, to Mufasa before that climactic scene. Um, and then everybody the next day agreed that's absolutely a terrible idea. Um, let me see if there's any reference to Kimba the White Lion in here. Um, Zavrakake says that it's not copying Kimba, that uh, he watched a, a long YouTube video about it. But I watched a long YouTube video where they said he did copy Kimba the White Lion. So who's telling the truth? And I know, Bridges, I just, I want to get it right. Because you can only, once you set the, the terms of YouTube memberships, you can't change them without canceling everyone's memberships. So I want to make sure that oh. that, the, that like the it's exactly what I want to do, and that the the badges are right, and that uh the what's it called that the perks are what I want to deliver, and that the prices are right. That's all. So it, I will get there. I swear. Zaver cakes. We can totally talk more about it offline if you would like sometime this week. We can talk about Patreon too if you want. Okay. We can talk about anything. Yeah. So, um. So what? Can I get this article? What proof? No. Let's oh, do oh, it yeah. now. <laughs> Sorry, it's just half the time. I don't know if you go through the ones I send when I read from them because I'm just no. Reading I do. From I them. pull them up on screen. You do. You do. You do. There you go. Um. No, I like I like that that Zaffer saw a YouTube video about this. I like I like the stakes of the YouTube memberships, like. I can't, because once the terms have been set, they cannot be changed. Never be changed. Never. Because the music is one defining aspect of The Lion King, there is a lot to say about the evolution, because, like, you've got Elton John, Tim Rice, and Hans Zimmer for the score. Let's see. Um, Lebo. They wanted Lebo M., to work on the score. Zimmer wanted Lebo, Hans Zimmer wanted Lebo M to work on, on the on the score with him. Uh, Lebo M asked Zimmer to explain the plot of the film. As Zimmer did, he began to write down the basics in Zulu to give himself a reference of word and phrases he might pull into the music. The directors arrived and asked Zimmer about the opening of the film. It was previously agreed that the movie would begin as the sun rose over the Pride Lands with a single voice. Then Zimmer had Lebo M head into the recording studio told them what they're trying to accomplish, then they just sort of riffed. And what came up is the iconic opening to The Lion King as we now know it. Then, once the opening number was complete and music and animation, they screened the Circle of Life segment for Michael Eisner, the head of Disney at the time. And as the screening ended, Eisner informed the creative team 
that they had messed up big time. When they asked why, he said, because now the rest of the film has to be this good. So they back stumbled into this kind of putting the Lion King on the front burner, if you will. Mm. Uh, and then there's there's more there's more in here, but um, yes. Yes. Okay. I mean, I'm always down for more, for more uh, Disney history. I truly enjoy it. So I will give you a point. Um, I don't know that my mind was blown, but I very much enjoy the tale that you wove. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Now. <clears throat> Now we're going to talk about YouTube memberships? Great. Well, I mean, you know this stuff because I ranted to you about this. But, like, I could blow some audience minds with the the freaking revenue breakdown of how much money Twitch steals from you when you when when you subscribe to somebody or when you get a subscription as a streamer versus other platforms. Like, if we want to talk about that, we know it's half. But not just that it's not just that it's half on subscriptions but the all they're also taking the 40 cents on a dollar for every time you you give bits versus anyway this is not (laughs) you knew you know it you know it's not a good strategy (laughs) i know this is not that show i this is not that show we'll do that show next week but did you know that you don't have to overpay to do that on other platforms I mean, we all know, but in any case. Okay. I would like to okay. discuss for my final topic, Gargamel. Would you really? No. I'd like, I'd like you not, to, yeah, I was going to say. Because he is not anti-Semitic. Not even remotely. No. There's just, the, people are just like, well, he resembles, this is what he resembles. According to French sociologist Antoine Bueno, Gargamel is suggestive of a Jewish stereotype. Welcome, user not found zero zero, daddy. Thank you for the follow. Uh, His name is Anton Bueno. Anton Bueno. Antoine, or sorry, Antoine Bueno. Um, considering uh, Twitch that Gargamel. Twitch mini fan. No, I don't know. What, I'm not. I don't know if I'm familiar. I mean, there's the big GameStop news of late, but the controversy, I'm not certain. Yeah. I don't know I don't know if there's anything beyond that that you're talking about. But in any case, I would like to address something different. Okay. Did you know? How, if you had to guess. Yes. For, well actually let's we'll start here. Shaman Steve, do you like ice cream? Okay, I love that I instantly have no idea where this is going. Yes, I like ice cream. How many scoops of ice cream would you like? Two? Two scoops of ice cream. A pretty reasonable amount of ice cream. How much would you say those scoops of ice cream weigh, each scoop? I've never thought about it before in my life. Fair enough. Let's say that each scoop of ice cream on your double scoop weighs about half a pound so that you're eating about the pound of ice cream, Shaman Steve, when you have your double. Isn't that nice? That sounds lovely. That sounds great. All right. Now imagine that the largest scoop of ice cream ever in the world how big do you think this scoop of ice cream is? Wow, we. I imagine it to be about as big, like it could only be as possibly as big as the large drums of ice cream that they scoop it out of at the Baskin Robbins. That's what I'm picturing. Well, then you'd be wrong. Welcome, DuPony, to the store. Oh, hey, DuPony. Good to see you, DuPony. The largest scoop of ice cream ever devised weighed. 3,010 pounds in June of 2014 
Camps in Cedarburg, Wisconsin served up a strawberry flavored scoop that nearly measured six by six feet. It took around 733 household containers of ice cream to create the massive serving, which was put together by five nationally ranked snow sculptors before being portioned <laughs> out and handed off to attendees at the Cedarburg <laughs> Strawberry Festival. Yum, yum. Even you, Shaman Steve, could have enjoyed a nice scoop of <laughs> strawberry ice cream. Had you been there on the day in question? <laughs> Look at that spoon. Hey, Lee, remember she can't eat off of that spoon. That spoon is way too big. <laughs> hey, Lieberman. Yeah? How many scoops of ice cream do you want? <laughs> It's a very what? large scoop of ice cream. Duponi's got a good point. Uh and no, we're talking we're not talking about Smurfs. No Smurfs talk. Just not just not a thing. Um <laughs> Can you send me this? I don't need to verify it. I just want to have this link in, in Oh, in I'm my... afraid that the ice cream melted many years ago. It'd be <laughs> no, very <difficult>. I mean... <laughs> The photo. I want the photo. What? <laughs> did she? Did she break the? Did the chair fall? Oh god. And before no. that, it was, it was portioned off and given to I am afraid people. you would have had to have been there in 2014. <laughs> what? To be <laughs> fair, D-Bakes, Lieberman broke Lieberman. Y y yes, yes. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so so if Lieberman's broken, he's going to need the law offices of Lieberman and Lieberman injury attorneys. <laughs> Have you experienced an injury involving yourself breaking yourself? We cleared over $9 billion in self-related claims in the last year alone. Lieberman and Lieberman injury attorneys. We will get you money if you broke yourself laughing. Mm-hmm. Um Lieberman. Shaman. The six foot by six foot scoop of ice cream, which is Duponi has correctly pointed out. I'm sure it was full of insects. Uh is worth a point for sure. Uh absolutely. The Pride of Wisconsin, the Cedarburg Strawberry Festival. Uh, you know, shout out to Wisconsin is what a flightiest guy said, a little hometown, uh, home state pride. Uh, I, I love to see it. Uh, that is uh, 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 fantastic. The manner in which you presented this information shall also yield you another point. Hooray! This is joyous news. Catching what up on... This? Catching up on chat, Dr. Awesome Jen says this is the best way to end my workday. Did you know that you two are now officially considered my co-workers? Does that mean we're hey. doctors? We're doctors of awesome as well. Hooray! D-Bake says that I is... haven't been able to get that jingle out of my head. I want to sue. Hmm, you may have grounds huh. for a case. You're going to need to find some good representation. I am more than happy to to be to be your coworker, Doctor Awesome Jen, provided that the company does not pay me more than six hundred a year because I can't. I don't need another W two coming at the end of January. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Cash under the table. 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 Cash under the table.
Cash, cash under the table. table, you know. Cash under the table. Cash under the table. Know what I mean? Cash under the table. 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 You know what I mean? Table. Cash under the table. Cash under the table. Table. Cash under the table. Cash under the. You know what I mean? Dupony writes, "Where's the cash?" Lieberman and Lieberman injury attorneys. Cash under the table. Know what I mean? Bridges says, Leaves, I'm going to go to bed now. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Bridges. Take care. Bridges, get some rest. Have a wonderful night. Thank you for being here. Yes. Hi, Blarg. Burn. Hi, Blarg. Shout out for the Blarg. The underscore Blarg. Also, I'd like to shout out uh, Do Pony. Uh, uh, also, uh, uh, a wonderful streamer that we, we know through that glorious experience that was Twitch Sings. Still rocking that hashtag life after Twitch Sings. Much excite. Thank you very much. Yes. Um. All right. It's time for the Audience Choice Award, correct? Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I prepared something. da 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 it's time for the audience choice award. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 I like that so much. Yay! Nice. Well, so we you. both <laughs> have scored six points. Um, cool beans. Those are all very cool beans. Oh, hold on. I want to see. Oh, Danny Thirsty, the Blah 139 Danny Thirsty. That makes me so happy. Oh, you never seen that? Oh, yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. I think that's uh, that's not a bit emote. That's a higher tier emote, isn't it, Blarg? You got to – it's it's a good emote. It's a great emote. I love that. I love that. There is an emote that exi – oh, it's a 5K bit emote. That's beautiful. Whoa. Can I see uh, Blarg's 1K bit emote in chat, please, just because I like it so much? <laughs> I just like it. Uh <laughs> I like it too. Um wonderful. 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 Daddy do pony. Thank um, you for the follow. Much love to you. Do pony. Let me know where you're from. What's your favorite uh what's you know your favorite what? sandwiches? What's your pet's name? So I can see you. I would be very interested. I'd be very interested to, to hear this, actually. To hear this um, welcome song from DuPony. There's two chats, that's right. There's actually five chats. What? That just blew five. my mind. But that. it was outside of the uh, official calendar uh, time in which the, the competition is taking place. Um, yes, so we have to determine what the audience has enjoyed from the facts presented this evening as uh, what if Play 80's guy has uh, summarized them there in that last list. And then we will do conduct a poll where everybody may formally vote, formally vote, formally vote for the audience uh, choice, mind blowing fact of the week, which shall award two additional points to its presenter. Yay! Ooh, and while folks let us know what their favorites are, I'm going to sing a welcome song for DuPony. DuPony is French, and their favorite sandwich is strawberry and Nutella. And they have two pets named Phobos and Demos, working in a coal mine all day, every single day, with Phobos and Demos orbiting around you in the coal mine. Isn't that such a good time down in the coal mine? Having a strawberry and Nutella sandwich on a croissant, or maybe on a nice piece of bread, a very nice light piece of bread, with the Nutella and the strawberries fresh. Fresh strawberries, isn't that so nice to have in a coal mine? Having such a good time. Daddy Twitch mini fan, thank you for the follow. Let me know where you're from and your favorite sandwich and also your pet's name. Isn't that nice, folks? Oh my goodness. In the coal mine, having a good time with DuPony. Bang! Welcome to the Very community, nice. DuPony. What a pleasure it is. DuPony, I love... 
I love how, uh, first of all, Phobos and Deimos, those are great uh, yes. uh, 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 mythologic, mythological references for yes. pet names. But I love it. I was very curious to hear your answer to the, to the questions. And I like how I was genuinely expecting or curious about like a city or a province and how instead of either of those things, you just said, I'm French. Oh, Duponi says, thanks. I love them, but they're also the worst. Ooh, oh sure i'm sure. in a fight with sure. cheese my dog right now she oh really who's winning she is because i'm the one who doesn't have any freaking sleep she's been sleeping all day um uh ooh, texas meatball marinara and shogunian or shogun nice shogunian shogunian let me know about the pronunciation you're from bordeaux how lovely wine country wine country man is from texas they enjoy a meatball sub and they have a pet named shogunian working in a coal mine all day every single day bringing straight texan vibes making sure that everybody has a meatball palm when they want it with the marinara sauce on the sandwich isn't that so nice to have on a meatball Meatball sandwich, can't have it dry, need to have that. Oh my goodness, and Shogun Yawn is there also having lots of fun, making sure that everybody's giving them all the pets in the coal mine, having a good time. Bang! Welcome, Twitchy minivan to the community. Wow. Okay. Nice. Now, only one person is waiting. Else put forward something for the thing of the week nobody nobody wants to weigh in on what their favorite fact of of, of the of the episode do we wanna, do is we everybody here the admitting that they weren't here the whole time is that what's happening here is what they were so mine were shamama chama the word for oh i'm so full but i just can't help it i want to keep eating um, in the georgian language in the georgian language Babies can't cry tears for two weeks to two months of their life. Uh, Guinness World Record for the most tiny books. Um, uh, chocolate, if you smell it in a bookstore, you're more likely to buy a romance novel. And uh, the world's largest scoop of ice cream. Shaman. And then mine were that uh, Roald Dahl uh, uh, was, uh, is, co is the co-author of uh, the uh, James Bond film, You Only Live Twice, that Roald Dahl did in fact have a career as a spy in early World War II before, uh, for, for MI6, prior to uh, the rest of his illustrious career as, a, as an author of all kinds, that uh, Mary Shelley uh, wrote the most, her most famous novel, Frankenstein, uh, as the result of a competition between herself, her husband, Percy Shelley, and Lord Byron at the suggestion of Lord Byron. Uh, a website called JustScream.Baby, which was a project that cataloged record over record over 130,000 recordings of people screaming into the void from October of 2020 until January of 2021, and now records messages of hope, and that The Lion King was not originally uh, any kind of flagship project on Disney Slate, but was sort of like a Eh, like a phoning it in sort of like the, more or less like we just need to churn out something for this year while we work on Pocahontas. Okay. Dupony says, I only saw ice cream. Kit but Boga. Changing their chat. Vote to Mary Shelley. <laughs> wait a moment. Just wait a moment. Oh, and changing the vote to Mary Shelley. That's amazing. So, so, so this starts the poll. Mary Shelley's in the poll. Ice, ice cream's cream. in the poll. Roll dolls in the poll. Roll dolls in the poll. That okay. was the initial one that What a Fly Eighties guy liked. Um, rolled doll working on James Bond. So rolled Bond or James Doll, whatever you want to call that. Roll doll, ice cream. That is a dope fact that Duponi did not know. Mary Shelley. Now everyone will vote. Two minute poll on twitch so if you're on, on youtube on, on lieberman's twitch you're on facebook we're on both or you're on periscope or you're on shaman's twitch you gotta go to lieberman plays his twitch we're on both twitches twitch.tv slash lieberman plays vote in this poll oh my god the polls on lieberman's twitch because fun mind-blowing fact 
I need somebody to show me how to do a poll in my own Twitch chat. Are you kidding me? It's not it's not canon in the competition. I just what is it? You, you type forward slash poll, but then how do you structure it? I, no, just do it's a quick actions button on your on your dashboard. I am in OBS. Is it on my stream manager dashboard? Yes. It's a quick actions thing. Oh boy, roll doll and ice up. creamer in a dead heat. Four to four. Roll doll versus ice cream. I never thought I'd see the day. Try it. It's easy to set up. The Twitch poll or the ice cream? Eh? Huh? I'm kidding. Eh? Huh? Oh, you better believe. That it is not easy to scoop that much ice cream in one place. Por que no los dos? Because then it's a tie. We've never had a tie. A tie? A toy. <laughs> Roll Quick. doll has just pulled the head. If you want ice oh cream, boy. you better vote for it because you only have 10 seconds. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Roll Doll takes it by one. Roll Doll takes it. Yes. Yes! Woo! Bringing Shaman's score to eight points to my Woo! six. Woo! Bringing it back to a tied match score. Woo! I had been down in match score for so many weeks. I won a match. Woo! I'm excited. I'm genuinely excited. Thank it's you, Bates. Thank you for the clap. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for this applause that I'm giving myself. Thank you. You're very welcome. That Blake fact, Duponi, says, is that new celebrated to James and the Giant Peach. <laughs> That's correct. Thank you, Mama Ross, for the 25 biddies. What was that nice, fact again? Nice, Mama Ross. Duponi asked, what was the fact? It was the fact that Roald Dahl, celebrated children's author of such classics as James and the Giant Peach and Matilda, also wrote... The screenplay for the James Bond film, You Only Live Twice. Huzzah! 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 Bringing the overall total score to 104.5. Lieberman to Shaman Steve's 92.5. 92.5, playing all the smooth jams. And coming back over to 104.5, classic rock all day, every day. <laughs> Honestly... Just from my the, the channels where I grew up, just flip those and you got it perfect. It's 92. Nako's live. Nako's Mama live. Thank you for the bit. Ba, ba, Mama Ross, thank ba. you so much. If I if I if I was if I was a if I still was into wrestling, I'd go ba, ba, da, ba. But specifically when uh Nako's live rated. Hello, Nate. And his name was You were playing Nako's Use Your Words. Live. Hello, Rocket 02025. Welcome to the stream. How are you? What makes you happy? <laughs> what deep questions. Um, Nako's and Live wants us to was... be wrestlers. Hello, lovely muffin. Hey, Ward. Nako's Live. Yes, that's right, Twitchy Mini fan. Reggie Filzame uh, is a member of the board of GameStop and has been for the better part of, for over a year. After he left Nintendo, he joined GameStop, which is an odd choice on his part, I think. I did not know that, Dupony. That is a fun fact. Townie7689, Daddy, thank you for the follow. Townie7689, let me know where you're from. Let me know your favorite sandwich. Let me know your pet's name so I can sing your welcome song. Welcome to the stream. That's not the welcome song. It's much better than that. But I'm still in a mood. I like it. Oh, yeah. Welcome we got subtitles to the rocket. stream. Fly me to the stream. We played Let Me Blow Your Freaking Mind. You guys just <laughs> missed the ending of the game. It was so fine. It, does it was sublime. Please watch this show 
another time. In other words, we're gonna raid soon. Do you have a beverage? I am so incredibly thirsty. <laughs> also, I directed the film. Matilda. Ah, oh, jeez. With Mara Wilson. <laughs> In other words, man, I just I really wish I, I had a drink, some water, some coffee or something. Also, some coffee. Like penguin and Batman Returns. Um, all right, Townie seven six eight nine. Batman Returns. He's from Canada. Ooh, yeah. Do 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 a little. Batman Returns, when Max Shrek, he finds a penguin. It's played by Danny DeVito. And he takes him and he says, Look at him. He's been neglected by society, but I'm going to help him. And in the process, make a huge profit. You won't see it coming. I'm actually the bad guy. Batman, who, man? Exactly. Wait a minute. Rocket 02025 says... I'm so confused. Well, guess what? That is the vibe over here. If you're confused, that means you're doing it right. So I need you Ooh. to get up out of your chair. Rise from your chair, Rocket 02025. I require you to dance. You are, you require? It was at this point that he knew he fucked up. Rocket 02025, I hope that you are confused, but you are confused in a happy way. I hope that you are treating yourself with love and kindness and respect, that you are treating yourself well because you only get one life, and I want you to spend it feeling good about yourself because you are an amazing person. I am so happy to have you here. Shaman Steve is so happy to have you here. It is a motherfucking vibe, okay? We do a show four mornings a week, Monday through Thursday, 9 a.m. Pacific. It's called The Only Show. It's the only show on Twitch other than this show, which we also do, and also on other platforms. And we have a welcome song. Shaman Steve, did you have something you wanted to add? If nothing else, I hope that's what you say on that just scream words of hope message yes. i hope you are confused but happy confused <laughs> that's so special townie I, I seven six enjoyed that so much yay that makes me what, happy what a what a gift to have townie with us to have rocket 205 with us to have duponi to have mama ross to have d bakes with us Ooh. to have nate goes live with us to have everybody on youtube and facebook and periscope with us you're right. You're not wrong, Lieberman. Rocket there is a show. 02025. Thank you for the follow, Daddy. Let me know where you're from. Let me know your pet's name. Let me know your favorite sandwich. So you can get a welcome song like Townie7689. Townie7689 is from Canada. They enjoy a peanut butter and Nutella sandwich. And their cat's name is Kristoff. Working in a coal mine all day, every single day with Kristoff by your side. Kristoff loves it inside of the coal mine. It's dark and dank and they can find a way to hide away while they eat all the tuna. Stealing all the fishes from the pond inside of the coal mine. Eating all the fishes while you're snacking on peanut butter and Nutella making sure that everybody has that hazelnut spread they love so much in the coal mine isn't that a good time isn't that nice to have inside of a coal mine yes it is nice to have in a coal mine bang welcome to the community what welcome to the stream Jordan Ravel what, up, what Jordan a pleasure Ravel? it is to see you hello what up Jordan a sweet um forehead kiss to you Jordan hello Death Star Daniela, hello. What up, DSD? Um, oh my lord, what good vibes! I just, I'm still feeling them. Yes. From all of this community welcoming. Yes. And also, yes, you're not wrong. There is a show Monday there through Thursday, nine a.m. Pacific. The only show. With Lieberman and Shaman Steve, the only show at 9 a.m. Pacific, Monday through Thursday. Yes, that's the show. 
Um, that is. Rocket, I, I just realized that. Rocket is from the US of A. I need more info. I need to know your favorite sandwich. I need to know your pet's name if you have a pet. This is important. 12 p.m. EST. Don't, 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 don't even with that. Like, much love, much respect. Gotta love, gotta love some solid patriotism. Do love the good old U.S. of A. But uh, we can do better. And you don't even have to get specific about where you physically live. But you're welcome to say, like, where am I from? Man, I'm I'm from a state of going with the flow, if you know what I mean. Like, you can get creative with it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just. I love that. Okay, there it is. There it is. Is there a sandwich? We require a sandwich. Wow, you were, we were. You could also we just were, say, you know I don't what? like I, sandwiches. That has been every an day. option that people have gone gone to. I don't in like life. sandwiches. There we go. In life, we require a sandwich. All right. <clears throat> notice they have a rocket on the screen. I did notice Rocket that. League. Did somebody say Rocket League? That reminds me, we're gonna have Gray Sofa on the only show tomorrow. Oh, we have a rocket. That's right. We do have a rocket up there. Um, and we're going to have Gray Sofa on The Only Show tomorrow. Yes, Gray Sofa tomorrow on The Only Show. The Only Show with Lieberman and Shaman Steve and Gray Sofa. Freshly reupholstered and ready for a show. Ready to be taken on the town. He was tartan, and now he's got a leatherette finish. And boy, how Tartan? You mean like a Tam O'Shanter hat? Yes, like a Tam O'Shanter hat, which we're going to break that record. All right. Uh, Rocket 02025 is from the U.S. of A and has two pets. Even Lincoln doesn't like a sandwich. Working in a coal mine all day, every single day, with even Lincoln by your side. Making sure that everybody knows that you're from the U.S. of A. Isn't that so nice for you? Rocket 02525, 02, is the actual number in the coal mine. Doesn't like the sandwich, is going for the low carb approach to the food. Making sure that he has a nice bowl. Oh, it's a grain bowl. Oh, it's a salad. Oh, it's something nice for him to have. And is that that nice or are you a man or you a woman or are you non-binary? I'm sorry for assuming, but please take my sincerest apologies in the coal mine having a good time. Welcome to the stream, Rocket 02025 to the coal mine. Bang! Nice. Nice. Jordan Ravel is lucky that they keep an unlimited supply of Tam O'Shanter hats since being Scottish. I love that. CB4K, good to see you. Love those hype emotes. Wait a minute, Jordan. So then you could get the you could get the the record. Jordan Ravel, do you not realize that the Guild Guinness Book of World Records has an open record that no one has challenged for the most people wearing Tam O'Shanter hats in the same place at the same time? I can't believe that. I can't believe that no one has gone for this record cuz it's This is a this is a gettable record. It's for an unlimited group of people but you could just be two. Just two. Two It's people. also possible that Jordan is um having us on you might you might say uh and that there there's not exactly an unlimited supply of Tam O'Shanter hats in their possession. Mm. But darn close, I'd imagine. Darn. I'd imagine. Darn. Darn close. All right. My Thank goodness you. gracious. Thank and we do it in Robert Burns' house. You know what's funny? Before I ever think of the actual Scottish poet Robert Burns, mm -hmm. who wrote Old Lang Syne, among others, among uh, I think of the I think of the Python, Monty Python parody. It's not a direct parody of Robert Burns, though there's a bit of an association. They just have this sketch where Terry Jones, like they're doing like a documentary type of thing about the famous classic poet McTeague. And every one of the poets are always like, could I have five pounds to mend the shed and I'll pay you back on Thursday? And like every single poem is just a, like, it's just an IOU and like a note asking a friend for money. <laughs> the lovely muffin, uh, I, to get a song, you have to let us know where you're from, what your pet's name is, and what your favorite sandwich is. If you don't have a pet, that's okay. Also, you must pass the test. Which is, can you provide those two to three pieces of information? Which is, can you provide those two to three pieces of information? That's correct. 
Um, we should figure out a, a raid, Shaman Steve. Yeah. 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 Uh, I don't know. You want to do another? Um, you want to do another hour of mind blowing facts? Um, I would, but I have plans with my wife. Oh well, that's that's lovely. That is lovely. I was seeing if I could get you to just say, um, no, no, I don't. Want I, to that do was that. my original instinct, but then I chose to go positive with it. It's just I, I say would. I say you you trust your instincts. Oh, Mountain Dew gals on. Oh. That's cool. Oh, uh, that's definitely an option. BB Jess is playing some Just Dance. Hmm. Um, Wabbit's mom is see. coloring. Wabbit's mom is coloring. Oh, we might have to check that out. I mean, she uh just started that within the last week. And I, what a great thing to do for an art stream. Not not the first to do it, but I think it needs to be done more often. You know, they have all those, like, you know, they mark it like it's adult coloring well, she books. Have, she so might like, have just rated out. She's hosting someone. Oh, well, then that would, uh, yeah. that would, uh, um, Okay, sure. well, bye, CB4K. Bye, Deponi. Um, Thank you, CB4K. Here, Shaman, you pick somebody. I'm going to sing Lovely Appreciate Muffin's you, Welcome Song. Do it, man. All right. Uh, lovely muffin, uh, where is from can Canada, has two pets named Odie and Winston, really enjoys a cheese whiz and peanut butter sandwich. It's an old pregnancy food that stuck, working in a coal mine all day, every single day, with Odie and Winston by your side, making sure that everybody knows that a cheese whiz and peanut butter sandwich is much better than it sounds. It's very decadent, ooh, isn't that nice and creamy, between two slices of the bread, oh my goodness, in the coal mine, isn't that a good time? Yes, it is. Oh, that's a good time, good time in a coal mine. Bang! Welcome the lovely muffin to the stream. Who are we gonna raid? Night Road 2593. Oh, shit. Night Road is uh, driving on that Night Road. Uh, amazing friend uh, of both channels, a wonderful member of the community. Night Road 2593 is playing Rocksmith 2014. Hell of a game. Do you know what that means? That means some serious rocking out with a little a bass, a little slapping of the bass. Yes. Rocket 02025, what's ask what's with the coal mine? Um Hey, hey. If you have No, no, I don't know. You can say whatever you no, want. No, uh I was, was going to say something cryptic. We were <laughs> On Halloween, we were uh, doing a makeup stream, and we started talking about the the actual song "Working in a Coal Mine," um, and we talked about all the different jobs in the coal mine, and then it just kind of blew out from there. And now it's just a way of representing the community and welcoming people to it. It's a wonderful time. It's a fun thing. Thank you, everybody, for supporting. This was the "Let Me Blow Your Mind" podcast. We had we had a wonderful time. This is not a question. This is a fact. We had a yes. wonderful time. Tomorrow, uh, the only show with Gray Sofa. Tomorrow, 9 a.m. Pacific. Tomorrow night, 6 p.m. Pacific, is Lambs, the Lieberman exclusive merch show, where I make any merch that you want, that you mention in chat. I'll make it available for 24 hours. Uh, the Raid Massage um, asks d <laughs> um, Is uh, We just blew your mind. We just blew your mind. We just blew your mind. Thank you Bye guys everybody. so much. Take care. We'll be, take care. Bye-bye.